What is going on FX family? Pedro here with another video today on a Thursday evening. I am posting this video for you guys. And uh, yeah, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You got it, dude. <laughs> and comment below. Always love hearing from you guys. If you're new to the channel, my name is Pedro and I do Forex trading. Welcome to the family and let's get started with this video. everybody so in this video I'm gonna keep it nice and short and sweet so make sure you stay till the end and watch as I will show you all the details with this trade that I'm looking at um, this trade actually I did take last night um, this was our gold we were trading gold um, and so I wanted to show you uh, the four-hour chart as you guys can see um, on the four hour I know that we've we've already looked this trade over and the overall bias that we had um, here, let me just go down to the daily. Um, the overall bias, remember that we looked at this trade previously, guys, was that price was pushing downwards. We formed this nice double bottom pattern. Um, so usually when we do see price reject, um, you know, either at the top or at the bottom, and then we get these two uh, rejections and we see this pattern formation like this and price rejects once and then it rejects it twi uh, twice. Uh, that usually means that price wants to reverse, right? Price is is failing to continue downwards, or in this case, if it was a double top, um, it's failing to continue upwards. So price is most likely going to continue going down or the other direction. So this is th these are different patterns that you will notice over time, and uh, you know they do appear in the market as you go. So something to keep in mind when you do see that, especially on a four hour or a daily, um, these are really really powerful and really strong indications that price is starting to change right sentiment is starting to change so yeah we 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 saw a nice beautiful uh push to the upside after we saw the double bottom pattern um you know i talked about this that i was overall looking for buys on gold and we did see price push up that nice strong push strong momentum we did have to get price to exhaust um, price always typically does need to exhaust after a nice push um, so, you know, like I said, there was still a chance that price could pull back down, but it seems like it did help that support there, which was good. Um, so let's dive down a little bit lower to the four hour time frame. Um, and as you guys can see, I'm going to show you something that I noticed. So obviously price did push up, but we did consolidate for quite a bit. Uh, for you know all of this week the beginning of this week uh, we did consolidate for a little bit um, but I did notice this trade and I and I figured you know what this is an, again very powerful um, we did see price consolidate within this range here so typically when price consolidates guys and we see price moving within a range what we are expecting is usually a breakout right so a breakout could be either to the downside or a breakout to the upside right so we don't know until it actually happens right um, so as you can see price was ranging within uh, these two key levels one here in the bottom and here at the top believe in my last video I was going over this as well with you guys um, but I did notice guys and I wanted to show you this was the cross of moving averages again this is the four hour chart so this is really powerful guys because this is the higher time frames right so each candlestick represents four hours um, so keep that in mind now so um, not only that I did notice that price was failing to to push downwards right so we got that push up price rejected price came back down retested this key level over here at the bottom and then price came back up and then it failed to continue upwards but we didn't see another push down so there was not another lower low so um in this case um i did see something on the one hour you can kind of see it here on the four hour you could see that there was these two, one, two, three, four, five different wicks um, rejecting this area here. So price failed to push lower. Um, so when we see rejection like this, guys, that means that's good. You could see rejection either on the on, on the on the highs, on the lows, doesn't matter. Rejection just means that price came all the way down here and it failed to continue down or close. Um, 
uh, you know, closed that way, right? So price did push back up, which means the bulls were more in control at this moment in time. And the, you know, the candlestick, this four hour candlestick closed at, at this wick over this area here of the wick, right? So we see all of price history. It came all the way down here and then it wicked back up, which means this is a very, very strong bullish signal. Not only that, we saw the wick rejection here, 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 and here about five times, right? And not only that, we did see the moving, uh, our moving averages cross, which is another powerful thing, especially on the higher time frame, guys, right? Um, so let's go down to the one hour because this is where it gets really interesting. So when I was looking at this trade yesterday, it was actually last night, um, I noticed something that I'm sure you guys noticed as well. What do you guys see here? That's pretty interesting and also indicate, indicating that price is gonna continue upwards. Can you guess? Well, you guessed it right if you thought it was a double, pa uh, double, uh, double bottom. So, Sorry, I had a little brain fart there. Um, double bottom. So what does that, what, what happened right here? Price pushed down, rejected this key level over here. And then what did we see? We saw a rejection once and twice. Uh, uh, actually, lots of times, right? But what do we see here? What pattern are we seeing here? Price is failing to break this key level over here, right? It's failing it. So this means this to me looks like a double bottom formation, which indicates price is most likely going to reverse and retest these highs again, right? So what am I waiting for? I was waiting for a strong momentum push up and then a retest, which happened. Um, so basically when I got in, I got in exactly at the retest right over here, actually on the red candle, um, but I had already planned everything out. Um, so I did put this key level here. I noticed that price did break. Um, from these double bottom pattern, it did break this key level over here and it retested. This took a few hours. Um, and then basically I got in on here. I saw the moving averages starting to coil up and this crosses is again, this is on the one hour chart guys. And then I basically, I set my targets to the top, these highs over here. I did not expect price to go all the way up here. I knew that it was going to go up, but I just didn't think it would go up um, just yet. So as you can see, like it just skyrocketed. Either way, um, we were able to profit. Give me one sec here. We were able to profit about 130 pips. Um, and, you know, we risked. This was a, you know, 2% risk, risk reward, um, risk, rate, risk reward ratio. Um, we risked 50 pips to, you know, gain 130 pips. So this, this, this in itself was a pretty good trade setup. Um, I did close right about, I didn't make the exact 130 pips. I did close out around this candle over here. Um, right when it was like kind of a little bit indecisive because I knew that this was touching the key level over here at 1794. Um, but yeah, like that, that just goes to show guys that you, the potential of being able to, you know, look at a trade setup very clean and yeah, basic, basically being able to go from there. Right. And, and see how everything works out for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, comment below and share this video if you found it very informative.